everyone. Welcome back to my channel Pharmacypedia. This is Dr. Shikha Chauhan and in this session we are going to learn about the correlation. My dear students, correlation is one of the important techniques which is used in biostatistics to relate two variables, to relate two uh, factors together. So the relation between two variables is defined by the correlation technique whereby we identify if uh, we do one change in one another one how it is going to impact the other one so if you have still not subscribed to my channel pharmacypedia please do like share and subscribe to pharmacypedia for getting further updates and important content related to pharmacy so let us first try to understand what is correlation so this method was actually developed by the scientist francis galton in the year 1885 so as the term indicate correlation we are actually assessing we are actually evaluating the relationship between two variables for example variable x variable y so when we take a sample of population from the variable x when we take a sample of population from the variable y so we are going to check how they are related to each other by the correlation techniques for example if there are changes in some variables of x how they are going to influence the y and vice versa so whenever any two variables of the same group are so related that the increase or decrease correspond to the increase or decrease to another or increase or decrease in the one variable correspond respond to increase or decrease in the another variable they are said to be correlated my dear students when we talk about the correlation let us first try to understand how they are being categorized so on the basis of degree of correlation they can be categorized into three types the first is the correlate positive correlation negative correlation and zero correlation so my dear students the correlation value ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 minus 1 then 0 and then plus 1 so if the value between the uh, correlation value of the correlation which is represented by the r so if the value of the r lies in between 0 to 1 or everything in positive 0 to 1 it is said to be positive correlation if the value of uh, correlation coefficient r is lies between Minus one to zero, it is said to be negative correlation. And if the value says if the R is actually zero, it simply says there there exists no correlation between variable X and variable Y. So it is whenever you will be get calculating the correlation coefficient, you will always be getting the value from minus one to plus one. So plus one actually represents the perfect correlation. Zero means no correlation. if the value is in the positive range it is positive correlation if the value lies between the negative minus 1 to 0 it is negative correlation positive correlation simply says that the two variables and x and y are related in a way that if if you increase the value of x it will value of the y will increase if the if you decrease the value of x the value of y will decrease similarly negative correlation is as the term indicates negative it is just opposite so if you increase the value of the x variable y value variable is going to be uh, decreased and if you decrease the value of x variable then y variable is going to increase so you can say positive means uh, that whatever changes in the one variable is going to impact the other variable in the same way and the uh, negative correlation means the changes in one variable is going to reverse the action in the another variable so i hope you are now clear what is correlation what are variables how do how the values uh, of the correlation coefficient determines it into three categories positive correlation negative correlation and zero correlation so positive correlation simply says if you increase the value of one variable it is going to impact the other variable in a positive way for example intelligence and achievement so if a person is very intelligent there are high chances that his achievements would be more he would be more awarded his achievements would be more now let us try to understand the negative correlation it simply says that if your regression coefficient lies in negative minus 1 to 0 it is said to be negative negatively correlated and the changes in one would reverse the changes in the another so you can see positive correlation is marked by the upper arrow positive arrow negative correlation is marked by negative 
coming down coming down arrow and no correlation means a stability Th that simply means that the two variables are not at all related to each other so the example for negative correlation is between the anxiety and the performance so if your anxiety is more your performance is going to be down if your anxiety is less your performance is going to be better now let us try to understand the zero correlation. If zero correlation as the term indicate and as the graph indicates zero means there exists no correlation between the variable x and variable y. So whatever changes you make to x it is not at all going to impact the changes in y and vice versa. So there exists practically no relationship between two sets of the measures or variables. The classical example is like intelligence and height. No matter how much intelligent person you cannot never correlate with the height of the person. Now coefficient of correlation. So coefficient of correlation is represented by R. So for a perfect positive correlation, the coefficient of correlation is 1 plus 1. For a perfect negative relation, it is minus 1. And positive coefficient of correlation varies from 0 to plus 1. And negative coefficient of correlation varies from 0 to minus 1. That I have told. Then let us try to understand the different uses of correlation. Why do we need to correlate the things? Actually, it helps in biostatistics in several ways. To determine the validity of any test or if you want to calculate the reliability of any test or it, it is also used to ascertain the degree of the objectivity of the test and to ensure the validity of arguments for or against a statement. So whenever you have any hypothesis, you are for or against the statement that you can actually determine. It is very helpful in determining the nature of the relationship between two variables. Sometimes you need to understand the impact of one variable on another variable or vice versa. In that case, you need to go ahead for the correlation technique. It also helps us to predict out the impact of one value, value or the variable on the another variable. It helps us to ascertain the traits and the capacities of the individuals. Talking about the coefficient of correlation which is represented by R, there are several methods which are being used. For example, we have the direct method also, we have short trick method also, we have actual detailed uh, correlation coefficient method also. So basically they are being categorized into two types. The first is the rank difference method and second is the product movement method. We are hereby more concerned with the product movement method because that is being covered in your syllabus. So when we talk about the product movement method, it is the most widely used measure of correlation, also known as the Pearson's product movement correlation coefficient. The method is also known as the Pearson's product movement correlation in, in honor of the scientist Carl Pearson, who is said to be the inventor of this method. So the coefficient of correlation is computed by the method known as the product movement coefficient of correlation or also known as the Pearson correlation coefficient method, Carl Pearson correlation coefficient. And this is represented by the variable R. My dear student, this is the formula, coefficient correlation formula, which is used in the computation of the Pearson product movement correlation coefficient as following. So R is represented by N, summation of X, Y. X and Y are the sample sets. Then the uh, summation of minus the summation of X into summation of Y and uh, divided by the square root equation. So we are going to learn with a sample of example, how do we actually correlate the Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation in my next video. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'm sure it is going to help you out in understanding the basic concept of correlation and how do you actually imply with the value of the R. What do you understand from the value of the R? What are the different uses of the correlation? And how do you interpret the correlation coefficient values? Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe to Pharmacypedia for getting further updates and important contents. In my upcoming video, I am going to share you about the different methods of calculation of correlation coefficient. Till then, stay tuned, stay happy.